Hey, welcome back. In this video, I wanted to describe the trig identities for cosine of 2x. And where do they come from? So there, unlike the, the trig identities for the sine of 2x, which only has one form, sine of 2x is 2 sine x cosine x, there's three different formulas for the cosine of 2x. They're all correct, and they're all used in different, in different ways in different places, depending on the context, depending on the need. Um, I'm going to first explain where one of them comes from and then use that one to describe the other ones. There is a formula for the cosine of a plus b. And that formula is that it's cos a cos b minus sine a sine b. Thus, if we have a special case of x plus x, this will be cosine x times the cosine of x minus the sine of x times the sine of x. Cos x times cos x has a shorthand, we call it cos squared x. Sine x times sine x has a shorthand, we call it sine squared x. A really important thing to note is that cosine squared of x means cosine of x all squared, which is not equal to cosine of just x squared. You be really careful with notation in math. The square is being applied to the entire function, not to the argument of the function. These two functions, cosine of x all squared and cos of just the x being squared, they are completely different. They're not comparable. Okay, so that describes where the first one comes from. What about the other ones? So cos of 2x is cos squared x minus sine squared x. And we saw, so that's the one that we just went through from the cos of a plus b formula, and we saw in a previous video, in the previous part of this note, that sine squared x plus cos squared of x equals one. So I'm gonna use this fact First, I'm going to rearrange for, sine, for cos squared of x. Cos squared of x is then equal to 1 minus sine squared of x. Just rearrange it. And I'm going to sub that in. I'm going to sub that in there. So equals... 1 minus sine squared x minus the other sine squared x. So 1 minus an apple minus another apple is 1 minus 2 apples. 1 minus sine squared x minus 2 sine squared x. So that's this third identity. Done. And now the last one. Cos of 2x is equal to cos squared x minus sine squared x. And we saw that sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. This time, I'm going to rearrange and get sine squared x all by itself. Sine squared x is equal to 1 minus cos squared x. We can do that rearranging instead and substitute out this sine squared. So cos squared of x minus bracket 1 minus cos squared of x. We have a double negative. So be careful with that. Cos squared of x minus 1 minus minus. So plus cos squared of x. Now we have an apple minus 1 plus another apple. That's going to be two apples. So 2 cos squared of x 
minus 1. And that would be the second formula. So the connection, first of all, the cos of a plus b formula is needed to derive one of these, so I use the first one. And then the rest of them follow as a consequence of sine squared plus cos squared being equal to 1. Common question, you know, if, if, if this was a review I was doing in person, the hands should go up and probably would go up. Which one are we supposed to use if there's three of them? And again, it's going to depend on what we're trying to do. I'll show you some examples. In the, I have some examples in the worksheet where you have to use one of them or you get stuck. And it's going to be similar when we do actual calculus content, that there will be scenarios where one of the formulas is useful and the, and the other two are useless. They don't help us. So it's tools in a toolbox, things that you sometimes use and sometimes use one, sometimes use the other one. Thank you.